I have chills. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. This is SB19 performing MAPA on that fantastic stage with that orchestra in those golden suits. I am really looking forward to this, but first I must ask, did they perform any other songs? If so, please let me know. I'm really, really looking forward to watching this with you. Um, especially if I go by what that performance was of Tilala. I mean, oh, it's one of my fave. So nice. Definitely the kind of introduction you need for a stage like this. Oh, I can hear that vibrato so clearly. The way that he just performed that, it's like a innocent child, you know, that's got a little bit of fear, hesitation in their voice, and it's so beautiful. He almost looks and sounds as though he's going to cry. His voice was quivering, and that was utterly beautiful. Justin. Ladies, that's what he would look like if he was stood at the end of the aisle. Just wanted to bring that image to you, because that's the image that was in my mind. The perfect song to sing with an orchestra, to be quite honest, the way that it builds up and fills out. Justin's bit in this song is one of my most favourite bits. I don't know what it is about his delivery in this song, but it's so incredibly real and it sounds raw and sincere and I just adore it so much. Please, Philippe, I wasn't ready for you. Oh, it sounds so good. Look at how confident they look. The minute you sing anything with a live band, 
the dynamics of the song changes it just feels a lot weightier it feels a little bit slower yeah and there's just so much more depth to this there didn't need to be because this song in itself is so deep i mean pablo and his beautiful mind for putting this together but there's just i just didn't think it could get any better and yet it does that's the that's the magic of SB19. Just when I think, oh my god, they've just given me this performance, this level. Actually, when I dig a little bit deeper, I get other stuff and I'm just like, you're joking. You're actually joking. Someone's having a laugh at my expense watching this and being like, look at her. She's such an idiot. Because I'm just astounded at the never-ending talents that they just have. Being able to own a stage like this. I mean, they're reasonably young at this point i don't even know what year this is from um but the way that they are owning this the way that they are leading the songs it's definitely not a rookie stage you know what i mean as in they're having to keep up with the instruments or they're not feeling comfortable because this is not how they usually perform it's definitely them leading this massive orchestra and when i say they deserve to be on big massive stages this is what i mean this is the way that they should be presented to the entire world. To be quite honest with you, I know that they can give you the same performance stood in the middle of the street somewhere in jeans and a t-shirt, but this is the way that I like to see them. Wow. Look at Pablo. He just feels it so much, doesn't he? I have chills. don't end it there. This section is literally orgasmic. I love how this song has been composed, that there's just that extra line at the end without all of the extra built up part of the song, you know, just something to leave you lingering on, which is just so beautifully put together. I think there's just no way anyone's ever going to get bored of this song. I don't want them to ever stop performing this song, even when they're 70, 80, they've got to come back and perform their song. Um, it's just such a gorgeous song and no wonder why it has been given the importance that it has i think with this i just i really love josh in this song and that's crazy to say because primarily he is a rapper and he is working really hard on his singing voice as well and you can hear it and i do love his parts in the other songs as well but i think for some some particular reason Josh in this song really gets to me. I think it's because he has that young sounding voice and he almost sounds, he does sound innocent. He sounds like that sweet, innocent child, like questioning, worrying about the future, worrying about their relationship with their parents. Um, and there's just something about that 
his voice the intention in his head the way that he prepares himself to support the other members as well like there's not really a moment in there where he's not doing his best to add to the performance despite not seeing that much i know he gets a chunk of his own but actually for the rest of the song he does end up supporting the other members and he does such a fantastic job so i think that where the other members are able to shine they wouldn't be able to as beautifully if it wasn't for a support system like josh um he's really important in this song in my opinion and he just showcased that throughout this like if you were to just go back and watch this and just listen and watch what josh is doing i think i think you'd agree with me that he is such a wonderful support in this song i love it i just want there to be a whole concert that's like this <laughs> talk to me about this particular stage did they perform any other songs i'll wait to hear from you and thank you so much for watching this with me i hope that you had fun until i see you next time take care stay safe